Lee. Pre-match entertainment for the band is almost over, so we're nearly ready for a double first match of the day. A double first because it'll be the first time we shall be watching a match of the day from our new permanent television position on the new stand at Chelsea, high up in the roof. And the first time we've featured in match of the day this season, the cup holders and the favourites for the league championship, Liverpool. Now, both Chelsea and Liverpool have had to bring players back from Largs, where the Scottish team is in training for next Tuesday's World Cup match. Chelsea have had to recall Eddie McCready, their left fullback. They've had to do this because Shelito is injured. But as they get McCready back from Scotland, they're also able to welcome back into the side for the first time for six weeks, back from injury, Harris, who's normally a winged halfback, but he's going to play at fullback. And we're going to get a first view of their new outside left, Tommy Robson, who was signed this week from Northampton Town. Well, that's the Chelsea lineup then. And now Liverpool, like Chelsea, managed by a former Scottish international wing halfback, signed Bill Shankly. They too have had to rob Scotland of two of the players who've been in training. They've had to bring back two players, both of them halfbacks. Ron Yates, the centre halfback and captain, and Willie Stevenson, the left halfback. We might see those two players in the Scottish side in Naples on Tuesday. And there's Roger Hunt at inside right, who almost certainly will be playing for England against Spain in Madrid on Wednesday. So it's an all-star lineup by both teams, and Chelsea will be anxious to get revenge for that uh, defeat in the cup last season by Liverpool. Chelsea, unfortunately, have this dismal home record they're trying to get over, but at least they beat Everton, Liverpool's close rivals. They'll hope then to do the same against Liverpool, who are in great form and deservedly top of the league. So, we're all set then for a great match of the day between Chelsea and Liverpool. Chelsea to kick off on a ground which is extremely soft. Now Chelsea are playing in their normal all blue, Liverpool in their normal all red, so the only way to spot these teams properly is it's Chelsea in the white stockings. So remember Chelsea in the white stockings. Referee tall Mr. Jack Taylor of Wolverhampton, who ran the line at the recent Brazil Russia game in Rio de Janeiro. Now here's Hunt for Liverpool. Thompson, one of the men England discarded. Liverpool going all up at the start. This is Callaghan. Callaghan now to Hunt. Thompson waiting behind him. Chelsea had to fall back on mass in defence. Burn with the throw for Liverpool. This is the outside right, Callaghan. Now, Jeff Strong, perhaps the most improved player in Britain. Stevenson. Burn coming up the attack, and it's a corner to Liverpool. There's Peter Thompson always plays better for Liverpool than he does for England. And the tall Ron Yates has gone up. So too is the right back Lawler. This is Graham Chelsea. And Chelsea is breaking away for the first time. That's their new man to Passione. New man Robson. Here is number 11, the white stocking, Robson, signed for Southampton Town. Well, the Chelsea fans have been woken up by the Liverpool fans who are here. They've been singing, shouting and chanting long before the kick-off. So now the Chelsea fans are shouting as they've never shouted before. St. John. And his young Osgood. Many people say it's going to be the answer to England's centre-forward prayer. Well, with passes like that, he could be. Hollins. Venables and Hollins moving up very well off the ball. Is Osgood. Osgood rolling in agony, but I don't think he's going to get a free kick. That's Osgood on the floor. Graham, number eight, the band having a word with the referee. Uh, 
Well, those are the Liverpool fans massed behind that goal. Well, it's still attached to the leg, so it's all right. And number six there is Boyle. And we have no doubt wanting some, something from trainer Harry Medhurst, just a tape to keep his stockings up. Right, Osgood all right. We, we start with a throw to Chelsea, being taken by Hollins. And the throw's got to be retaken. Harry Medhurst, the Chelsea trainer, not off the pitch. And a very clever wingman. Another wingman, Passioni. Osgood. Quick acceleration by Osgood. Back to Harris. Liverpool. St. John. Yes, Jeff Strong. John. Really do we see two Liverpool defenders going up like that? And it's out of play, the lines are swagging. The crowd are booing, but Passione and Byrne quite happy with that collision. Chelsea. Thompson having come back for Liverpool. And here's Smith. Smith now to Stevenson. Liverpool so skillful at breaking from defence to attack. St. John. It's Callaghan. to watch when Liverpool come on the attack of the two fullbacks. Onside Osgood. He's got Graham in the middle screaming for the ball. There's Graham. Now here comes Robson. And off the line by Byrne. Well, it looked certain that Robson was going to get a goal on his very first league game for Chelsea. Chelsea being taken now with all the Chelsea forwards up oh, what a waste of a good opportunity that was Passioni That's, of course, trying to snap out of this dismal home form of theirs. They've only won twice at home and only scored eight goals here all season. They're well enough away, but just can't swing into gear at home. Oh, the crowd have already fallen for Tommy Robson, the new outside left, chanting Robson, Robson. Strong. Oh, Spinning ball beating Hunt then. McCready. Graham. Oh, good entertaining stuff so far. Now burn. Thompson into Hunt. 
deadly dangerous near goal hunt. Grant already cutting up quite a lot. The ball bouncing and bobbing in a drastic fashion. And a foul by Lawler on Robson. Free kick to Chelsea. Ten minutes gone, no score. Free kick to Chelsea. Is McCready going to take it? Oh, a lovely effort hit the bar by Graham. Everybody standing and watching him. Oh, fortune favouring Liverpool at the moment. Thompson. Uh, Callaghan. Oh, you see in Liverpool defence in top form. Now here come the forwards. Ah, Harris coming away with that one. What well, a careless pass though. again no. this time by Smith so far Robson done very well on his debut for Chelsea well there's the tall Osgood beaten by Yates Hollins well good effort by Robson Venable is still Passioni. Venable's on Passioni's left. Now Osgood. Oh, a beautiful ball from Osgood to Passioni. Oh, the mud beating that very good ball by these two young Chelsea players. Thompson in to Stevenson. This is number 10 is Smith. Oh, careful, studied football by both teams. Nobody doing anything rash. All the 22 players trying to think about the game. Goals have been at a premium at Stamford Bridge this season. Chelsea have got eight, conceded nine in eight matches. Now here's Osgood. Radius save by Tommy Lawrence. Now here's Stevenson. Now really left, Thompson. It's Byrne going down the left wing. extra forward now Smith and, and strong so everybody for Liverpool moving up everybody for Chelsea moving back now we can reverse the positions as Chelsea get possession now 
five football. Venable. Oh, lovely bit of work by Graham. Graham now to Passioni. That time a forward had to turn, it wasn't so easy. That's going to be a foul by Graham. On Smith. Smith with a free kick for Liverpool. Certainly I haven't seen Chelsea play better than this this season. Now McCready and Passioni is offside. Linesman right on the spot. Mr. Garfield of Salisbury. The other linesman, Mr. Michener of Poole. Gates with the free kick. Callaghan anticipated that move of Robson's. Here comes Lawler, the right back. And Callaghan. Corner to Liverpool. No score. Corner to Liverpool. Right back, Lawler's gone up, so too is the centre half back, Yates. Both of them very dangerous near goal. And Stevenson's been caught, but he's all right. Oh, I'm miss my hunt. The miss of the match so far by Roger Hunt. Side game by Liverpool. Passioni was a wee bit too impetuous. And Venables bringing down Smith. Pick it to Liverpool. And this Liverpool's accent on attack. Yates moving forward. Lawler takes the free kick. Just a pleasant afternoon, drizzling, cold, miserable except for the sparkling football exhibition being put on by both Chelsea and Liverpool. Hunt. Up to Osborne. He's a good player for 18. Venables. And halfback Boyle.
Macready, probably Scotland's left back, Tuesday in Naples. Offside. No, the referee. The signal that he saw the decision but play on because Liverpool were in possession. That's good refereeing. Keep the game moving. Thompson and Bird. I'm sure the crowd are going to get tired of booing him before long. Liverpool sensible enough not to rush forward against this solid Chelsea defence. Quite happy to stop the game and have a look around. This is the Chelsea outside right. See how far back he comes. Osgood, the promising centre forward. So we're in injury time now. And a bad one from Bird. And here comes Venables, taking over from Osgood. Nice to see the referee there putting the ball on the spot, saying this is where I want the free kick taken. Number 10, Venables to take the kick. Okay. Getting quieter and quieter now. The people are gradually getting tired. Oh no, second wind they've got. Why they keep up this booing? Because it hasn't been a dirty game at all. So, I suppose it would be football without a spot of booing, would it? Number three, Bird. Back to Stevenson. Chelsea again with ten men back in defence. Liverpool. Having to probe and try and find a weak spot, try and draw somebody out as the whistle goes for half time. Chelsea nil, Liverpool nil. Well, it's a long time since I've enjoyed 45 minutes of football without any goals as much as I've enjoyed this afternoon's match. Because both Chelsea and Liverpool have been playing thoughtful, precise football under very bad conditions. It's cold, it's drizzling, the ground is very, very slippery, and this put the defenders at a disadvantage. They have to do a lot of quick turning and you'd think under these conditions they'd be having a rough time but the defenders have come out with full marks against two attacks which are really looking for goals. There's been so much to enjoy in this match. Chances have been created. They've been missed only by inches. Chelsea have hit the bar. They've had a ball kicked off the line so there's been no lack of thrills although there have been a lack of goals. Well, it might all change in the second half. We might have the goals to go with the thrills. We'll just have to wait and see. It's Liverpool then who start the second half. They're the team with the dark stockings, remember? Both teams looking alike. The all dark strip and it's raining even harder than ever now. It's thoroughly miserable afternoon, brightened only by this entertaining football. Osgood. Osgood forward to Graham. Interesting to see whether the defenders who perform so magnificently so far in this match will be able to keep it up under these trying conditions. There's Hinton, who's under this Chelsea system today, is a free man. He's been used as a floater. Now Graham to Fassioni. He's worked tremendously hard, this wee fellow. This is Venables. 
Chelsea captain. It's Liverpool's turn to pack in defence. And a push in the back. St. John, the man foul, so the free kick given to Liverpool. This is Burn to take the free kick, and the fans on this side of the field who are booing him a long time in the first half must have forgotten all about it. Probably they don't recognize him at a distance. McCready getting himself in trouble. And that was hands, I think. Yes, free kick to Chelsea being taken by McCready. Now out of play. Throw in. Smith, never mind that number 10 on his back. That means nothing at all. He's a defensive wing half back, in effect. And here comes Jeff Strong for Liverpool. There's he is. Quick turns, catch him out under these conditions. Now, Passione covered loads of ground, coming back to Harry in defence. This is Robson. Number three, McCready. Venables. It's a good one through to Osgood. Equally fine save by Lawrence. So Robson, the new man playing his first game for Chelsea to take the corner. get away to St. John. They're slithering and sliding even more than they did in the first half. Very difficult to play good football under these conditions, but the players are succeeding. through that morass in the middle. Smith to burn. Liverpool are keeping the ball there's beyond me. St. John been very closely marked by the right halfback Hollins. McCready, this is Graham. Smith, the number eight hunt. It's going to be a corner. Is it a corner? No, the line. Oh, the referee's given a corner. The linesman is going to indicate a goal kick. Always there, of course. The referee can see something that the linesman can't, and the referee is the sole judge. The linesmen are there to help him. Right. Number seven, Callaghan at the corner for Liverpool. Oh, that's too high for anyone. And in comes Stevenson. It's 
Stevenson. Such a good player. Back to burn and outrace Chelsea to try and play the offside game. One man has stayed back. Lawler. Lawler to Callaghan. That was a good header by St. John. And there, right up with the play was Chris Lawler. Right back. And he is making ground to get back again. Oh, a bad mistake, Lennigan Thompson. Now St. John. Hunt. And Hunt was offside anyway. One mistake could win or lose this match. No score. And the defenders are playing so well that it looks that only some sort of error is going to let the forwards in to get the vital goal. And I wouldn't mind betting that one goal is all that's needed to win this game. Thompson. He's not tired of being on the left wing. Coming to join Callaghan on the right. Thompson who will play on either wing. He's played for England on both wings. Another mistake by Osgood. Letting him strong. Now Stevenson. Players must be getting tired now. Hunt. Goal kick. Dangerous customer all afternoon. Back to McCready. Passione. Graham again. Back to McCready. Just keeping possession. Trying to find a hole in the low field defense. They won't find it that way. Boyle was going to hesitate too long. And now it's McCready. Robson. Strong coming away. Leaving it now for Byrne. There's been no slacking of the pace in this match. Great credit to the fitness of both teams. Not only the fitness that we've seen, but it's the skill of both teams as well. Stevenson for Liverpool. Could have been a dangerous ball into that sticky mud in the centre circle. 
just like a pot of glue. And now Tom Smith. Almost illegal for Tom Smith to start coming up into the opposing penalty area. And here's Smith again. Hunts. Groans and ahs from ahs from the Chelsea fans, but still Hunt doesn't mind. Almost time, Liverpool leading 1-0. I should imagine a nice hot bath will be welcome after this. This Benables. And a foul. Thompson pulling at Harris. Free kick to Chelsea. Graham, Passioni to Osgood. Venables, here's Osgood. There's a good change of direction. Passioni, a Graham, a great save by Lawrence. And Graham looking thunderstruck as he stands on, well, where the penalty spot was before it was washed away. And what the whistle had gone there, but it's a. Well, the whistle is gone, but it's gone for a free kick for Chelsea. Venables. Oh, up and under, all in now, Osgood. And out with Thompson. It's out of play. Yeah. Out of the play, it's a free kick. I mean, give. Can it be taken by Callaghan? There's the Spanish, always impossible to drink drag one leg after the other. Osgood to Venable. Out of Graham. Robson is screaming for a through ball. So that chance is gone. And might engineer enough. No, the whistle is gone. There'll be no engineering of chances. The whistle is gone and Liverpool have won a fine match, one goal to nil. Two Scotsmen with me, one disappointed, one very happy. Now, Tommy Doherty, manager of Chelsea, the last time we had you on, Tommy, you lost at home. It's getting a habit with you now, isn't it? Yeah, well, as long as we keep winning away from home, Ken, I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> well, what do you think of today's game? Well, Bill and I were just talking about it. Uh, I'm not despondent, I'm not unhappy. Uh, our boys played well uh, against, to me, uh, the best team in England at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we we'll learned something, uh, that it's a ruthless game, it's a hard game and uh, you know you get people crying for fouls and whatnot, but it was a hard game you've got to give and take knocks, especially in these conditions. It was and, a fair uh, game you reckon? Great game and you know two top class sides and you know there's a lot of chances missed on both sides but uh, good luck to Liverpool on the day. Now I hope you'll interpret the answers that Bill Shank is going to give us that. Tommy, what do you think of it? You well, must be very happy with another two points away Bill, aren't you? We are happy with one because they... Uh, I think that Chelsea on their day can beat anybody in England. And we thought this was one of the hardest matches we're going to have for the next month. You think they could be, even beat Liverpool on the day, Bill, do you? Chelsea are capable of beating anybody. Well, that's what the Liverpool manager thinks about Chelsea. But I think if the truth were really known, it's going to take a very fine side to stop this Liverpool march, the way they're playing at the moment. They're a strong side. They haven't got a weakness from goal to outside left. And the way they kept at it today, even up against a first-rate Chelsea defence, and then went on to win, it really speaks highly for them. And they're high and dry at the top of the league. They're the 
only first division team to have won away from home today and now they have a three points lead at the top of the first division leading this very strong northern challenge at the top Burnley and Sheffield United still in the top four West Bromwich Albion the only team out of the north still in touch with the leaders and although Leeds United have dropped back don't forget they haven't played for the last two weeks and they might regret that towards the end of the season and no doubt they're smiling in Northampton today not only their old outside left had such a good game for Chelsea today but their own team off the bottom of the table and I think this is the first time for many many weeks Northampton have won today they're not at the bottom Fulham and Blackburn now share that unenviable spot well the match of the day result once again in the pouring rain at Chelsea Liverpool have got another two points winning one goal to nil and don't forget we'll have another match of the day for you on BBC two next Saturday night.